Welcome to the WGI Virtual Season Weekly Awards Show. WGI applauds all the performers, staff, parents, and administration of every group for pushing to find a way to allow your indoor programs to thrive and grow during this unusual season, all while prioritizing the safety of your members. Although our indoor season looks a little different this year, one aspect stays true the amazing level of excellence and artistry from all participating groups. Congratulations to everyone involved. WGI Sport of the Arts is the world's premier organization, producing and governing indoor color guard, percussion, and winds competitions across the globe, where young people bring music to life and achieve the extraordinary through performance and competition. This season would not be possible without the help of our sponsors and partners. WGI Sport of the Arts would like to take a moment to extend thanks to the following corporations for their support throughout this season. I'm Ron Nankervis, CEO of WJI Sport of the Arts, and I'm here in a very empty UD arena to tell you about our Invest in Indoor fundraising campaign. First of all, I hope you and your family are safe and healthy. That really is what matters most, and we are an organization that is committed to keeping everyone safe until we can all meet again for our 45th anniversary next year. We are a learning community committed to giving young people opportunities to achieve the highest standard of excellence through creativity and teamwork. Since we canceled events due to COVID-19, the board of directors and staff has created a plan that will see WGI through these dark times. Even with our sponsors and partners unwavering support, the financial strain of canceling dozens of events, including two world championships, has been financially devastating to our organization. If you are able, please consider donating to WGI through our Invest in Indoor campaign. A donation of any amount helps continue our mission to educate and inspire young performers around the world through unparalleled competition and events with the spirit of inclusion, personal development, and community. These funds will directly help keep WGI operating with a virtual season this year until we can return to regular events in February of 2022. We hope you will consider a gift to invest in indoor at wgi.org donate. Thank you. 
Make plans to join us at WGI.org slash donate on Friday, April 16th for the Invest in Indoor Mini Telethon. This pledge drive will be raising money to help WGI come back to in-person events in 2022. And now the results from the competition. Beginning with the wins division. WGI would like to acknowledge all of our wins groups from this week's semifinal event. And now for the results. In the wins Scholastic A class. In ninth place, with a final score of 71.75, that's 71.75, Sequoia High School. In eighth place, with a final score of 72 even, that's 72.00, Pinecrest Academy of Nevada Cadence Campus. In seventh place, final score 73.25, that's 73.25, Bellevue East High School. In sixth place, with a final score of 78.625, that's 78.625, Hardin Valley Academy. In fifth place, with a final score of 80 even, that's 8-0.00, Bellevue West High School. In fourth place, with a final score of 80.75, that's 80.75, Cary High School. In third place, with a final score of 82.875, that's 82.875, Anderson County High School. In second place, with a final score of 83.50, that's 83.50, Grayson County High School. And in first place, with a final score of 85.50, that's 85.50, Joshua High School. In the wins Scholastic Open class, in fifth place, with a final score of 83.75, South Jones High School. In fourth place, with a final score of 84 even, that's 84.00, Hillgrove High School. In third place, with a final score of 84.25, that's 84.25, Lake Hamilton High School. In second place, with a final score of 85.50, that's 85.50, Morton High School. And in first place, with a final score of 88.75, that's 88.75, Miamisburg High School. In the wins, Scholastic World Class, in first place, with a final score of 95.50, Avon High School. The following wins group will progress to the WGI Virtual Season Finals on Saturday and Sunday, April 17th and 18th. Your finalists are... In the Concert Wins Scholastic Open class, Campbell County High School. In the Wins Scholastic A class, Anderson County High School, Bellevue West High School. 
Carey High School, Grayson County High School, and Joshua High School. In the wins Scholastic Open Class, Hillgrove High School, Lake Hamilton High School, Miamisburg High School, Morton High School, and South Jones High School. And in the wins Scholastic World Class, Avon High School. WGI congratulates all of the wins groups in this week's semifinals competition. Moving on to the percussion division. WGI would like to acknowledge all of our percussion ensembles from this week's semifinals event. The following percussion ensembles will progress to the WGI Virtual Season Finals on Saturday and Sunday, April 17th and 18th. Your finalists are in the Scholastic Concert Regional A Class, Brown Middle School, and Kane Middle School. In the Scholastic Marching Regional A Class, Blackstone Millville Regional High School. Brookville High School, Greenwood High School, Hillard Bradley High School, Upper Dublin High School, and Weatherford High School. In the Independent Marching Regional A Class, Albany Indoor Percussion Ensemble. In the Scholastic Concert A Class, Clements High School, E.D. White Catholic High School, Henry County High School, Rockwall Heath High School, West Claremont High School, 
Wheat Ridge High School, and Wiregrass Ranch High School. In the Scholastic Marching A class, Beaver Creek High School, Brandon Valley High School, Gulfport High School, Hamilton Southeastern High School, Kickapoo High School, Kings High School, Longmont Combined Schools, Mars Area High School, North Allegheny High School, Porter High School, Seymour High School, Unionville High School, VR Eaton High School, Victor High School, and Walden Grove High School. In the Independent Marching A class, Bellevue Combined Schools, Cornerstone Percussion, Horizon Percussion, Modulation Z, and North Star Independent. WGI congratulates all the percussion finalists. And now for the Color Guard Division. WGI would like to acknowledge all of our Color Guard groups from this week's Semifinals A event. Color Guard finalists will be announced during the Semifinals B Event Award Ceremony on Sunday, April 11th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Please join us then to find out which Color Guards will progress to the WGI Virtual Season Finals. WGI congratulates all of the Color Guard Semifinalist participants in this week's event. I'm not built to walk away. I'm not built to sit still. I'm not built to stand aside. 
I'm not built to speak softly. I'm built for one thing. Thank you for tuning into the WGI Virtual Awards Show. Join us again next week for more results from the 2021 WGI Virtual Season. Be sure to follow us on all our social channels and check out WGI.org for behind the scenes coverage of our virtual events. And please continue to do your part to ensure we can be together in the near future. Socially distance, wear a mask and wash your hands. Thank you and good night. How can you save time when informing your team of schedules or important notices? Write down the announcement. You can throw in videos, photos, and files too. Upon completing the post, all members in your band will get an instant notification. Your members can share feedback or questions right below in the comments. Make sure no one missed your post or give them a friendly reminder via chat if they did. Adding your post as a notice will keep it at the top of your group feed. From now on, no one misses any important announcements. Got an event coming up? Members can RSVP easily. You can also add dates, locations, and more. Don't miss other powerful group features that you can attach to a post.